cars all the time, Car Search Engine, and I am G, your host. And I am Kelly, your co-host. Guess what? They still know that we're still here at Costa Rica. They yeah. can tell. <laughs> <laughs> and it, like, like we've said before, it is gorgeous here. It's yes, gorgeous. It is. And we're having such a great time and uh, seeing all the birds here and and no antelopes. There is no antelopes here. What happened to the monkeys? There's the monkeys. No monkeys. We, yeah. We're going to find some monkeys here soon. And feed or later. the monkeys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, they they won't get too close to you, but the raccoons will. Usually, raccoons come around six o'clock and they eat out of your hands. Isn't that awesome? And the, at noon, the birds come over here and they start eating out of your hands they too. They were just here a minute ago. Feed me. Feed me. Feed, feed me. me. Yeah. <laughs> Now, what car do we have? We're taking tons more histories of some cars that you guys will like out there. And what car do we have today? We have a 1964 Ford Fairlane Thunderbolt. Oh, yes. And this car, wow, uh, was a hot, heavily modified two-door post to incorporate Ford's new race engine. Now, through the openings left by deleting the... Uh, now, through the openings left by deleting the inboard headlights so the air get to the carburetors they what it is it's got four headlights two headlights here two headlights here and they these two inboard headlights they took out and put uh plenums that goes through to the carburetors to get more air to the carburetors uh -huh. when it's going because well, with a huge engine like that wow okay now uh equal length headers Truck mounted battery, a tr the battery was mounted in the trunk. Wow. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the hood, doors, fenders, and front bumpers, windows, and other lightweight options include deleted rear window. Uh, the winders that roll up the windows, they took those out in the rear windows and all. Wow. And uh, the carpeting, they took the carpeting out. Took the radio out. Can you uh, imagine? Took, took the sun visors out. Took the armrest out. Took the uh, windshield wipers off. <laughs> uh, t uh, the heater, lug wrenches, uh, jacks, sandproofing out of the car, S passenger side windshield wiper. Took it out too. They took everything out of the car. Because when you do all this, you make the car lighter, goes faster down the track. Does it really? Or, or you're racing somebody on the street. Let's put it that way. Wow. You know? Uh, so this car would. Uh, yes, raced on the track, and yes, you could race on the street, too. Now, these cars wore Fairlane 500 trim and were only offered with, with a two-door sedan body, the special model of which 111 to 127 total were made. Sources disagree, you know. Wow. And it was... Uh, okay, now, racing... Okay, now tell us about the engine before I go on a little bit further. Okay, um, it's got a 427 V8 race engine with two four barrel carburation. Carburetors? Carburetors. That's what I thought, yeah. On an A, on an a high rise manifold. Yeah. Six, 657 horsepower at 7,500 RPM. Torque. I love torque. That's it, right there. <laughs> <laughs> now, getting past the torque here, yeah. racing in NHRA Superstock class had seven inch wide tires, only seven inches, which wasn't that wide it compared to today. It wasn't wide, it wasn't. Some of these cars have 15 inch wide really? tires. Oh, wow. yes, really wide. Now, uh, the Thunderbolt was based on the mid level Fairlane 500 uh, shit two-door pillared sedan, and in 1964 set the elapsed time and top speed records at 11.6 seconds and a quarter of a mile and 124 miles per hour. Took the super stock title and won the manufacturer's cup. The car, as delivered, was slightly too light to meet NHRA's 3,200-pound minimum weight. Can you imagine? Unless it was raced with a full tank of gasoline. That's the only way they can meet the limit for NHRA. Wow. 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 Fill it up, guys. Fill it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> NHRA, rule, NHRA rules at the time required a metal 
front bumper, so the cars began to be supplied with an aluminum bumper and previous purchasers were supplied with one. Okay, the Thunderbolt production was ended due to NHRA rule changes for super stock competition requiring that 500 vehicles be built to be entered in that class. Ford had been losing $1,500 to $2,000 of each car that they made. Wow. Thunderbolt sold at a sticker price of $3,900. Can you imagine? Wow. Oh, yeah, exactly. So uh, that was pricey because a night, next year was a 65 Corvette, and they were selling for $3,500. So that was pricey. Mm -hmm. The first 11 Thunderbolts were painted maroon, known as vintage burgundy in Ford literature. Whatever the hell that means, Ford literature. Do you have any literature on Ford? No. I didn't think so. <laughs> <laughs> now, the rest were white. 99 had manual transmissions. Sounds like our show for today here in Costa Rica. Rica. See ya! Yeah.